Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing a brand new tool free of charge that you can use to cluster and group your keywords together so that you don't, uh, so that you can save yourself from keyword cannibalization. Um, so I'm gonna explain exactly what keyword cannibalization is. I'm gonna explain why I came up with this tool um, and I'm gonna be showing you the tool in action and showing you exactly the type of results it can give you. So the very first thing is that keyword cannibalization in SEO occurs when multiple pages on a website on a website target the same keyword or set of keywords leading to competition between your own pages in search engine results this can dilute the ranking potential of those pages because instead of one strong authoritative page ranking highly you have several weaker pages competing against each other so this is something that we want to avoid guys okay so what i do is over the last few months guys obviously chat gpt and all these ai models make it super easy to create content and fill out new websites and what have you so I've been creating multiple blogs and for these blogs obviously I start off with do my keyword research so a typical um, example of you know just finding a bunch of keywords that have search volume associated with them um, and then going out and building pages for them would be something like this okay so I've got here about 443 um, um, key phrases down here all about Excel, Excel tips, Excel formulas, Excel templates and what have you and all of them have monthly searches um, associated with them. So for me I was just going out there and creating pages on my blog for all of these down there um, but I was actually you know I've I've come to realize about keyword cannibalization and the issues that I'm actually facing now because I've got so much content you know page po uh, blogs with like hundreds and hundreds of articles on there um, so it's very important that we need to um, group these together um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you my software um, it's called keyword clusters and what we're going to do is we're going to import something like this okay just a bunch of keywords you might have gone over to I don't know SEM Rush, or you might have got the AI to generate the content for you. You might have scraped the content from the top 10 ranking sites in Google and generated the keywords that way. Okay, however you generate these keywords, what we need to do before we go out there and create blogs is we need to make sure that we're having totally unique authoritative posts and we merge what we can merge together, which are about the same topics. Okay, so I'm gonna come over to this, to the software and I'm gonna click on browse and I'm gonna find my keywords folder. So as you can see, I'm in the test folder. I've got the test folder opened up here as well. Okay, and it's got keywords clusters in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and I've got this keywords file, which I've just showed you. Okay, I'm gonna go in here now and I'm gonna select the keywords file. And I'm gonna, I've got an area to add my own custom um, stop words. I've already, there's already a file that this works with, with hundreds of stop words in there. But for example, if you've got a bunch of keywords in here that are all about how to and what have you, then you might want to, and you might not want to include them. So I didn't want to include Excel or Microsoft in there, for example, um, as clusters. Um, so anyway, we've got three clustering algorithms, guys. Okay, these are machine learning algorithms. They come shipped with the software. Um, there's no charge. You don't have to sign up for anything else as, as well. Okay, these understand the relationship between words in a given sentence and in, you know, in, in phrases. And what they do, it actually converts every single word into a vector and assigns them a score. Um, and then and then it finally, um, it, you know, calculates all the scores together and bases it on there. Um, now, when you're using the maximum cluster size, that's how many clusters you want, how many phrases you want inside of a cluster. The very first one doesn't even need, doesn't even work with this. It's only the second one or the third one, I believe, that works with this. And you can experiment with these different methods down here. They all work really, really well. So I'm going to click on start clustering anyway. Um, and you're going to see a new file is going to get created here. Um, it's going to tell me how long, well, it's not going to tell me how long it took, but you can see here yourself, it only took like less than about five seconds and if I go over to keyword clusters dot text and I open this up you can now see the clusters that we have in here so we've got things like how to create excel templates for inventory control okay and in this it's giving me three key phrases how to design excel templates for inventory management how to create excel templates for inventory control and how to use excel templates for inventory audits and that makes sense guys it makes sense that I should be creating a page about this and inside of that page I should be also targeting these areas as well because I know all of these include monthly search volumes with them as well and I don't want to create different different posts unless it was like a massive amount of search volume with each one um, because otherwise they're going to be competing against each other now let's have a look at the next one 
how to use Excel templates for sales forecasting. I've got how to use Excel templates for sales forecasting, Excel templates for planning seasonal sales strategies. Okay, let's have a look at the next one, how to use Excel for creating a sales forecast. And underneath this, we have how to use Excel for creating a sales forecast, Excel tips and tricks for sales forecasting, using Excel for trend forecasting in retail, how to use Excel for creating a sales forecasting report, and creating a sales forecasting model in Excel. So these are actually really nicely, tightly knit together into perfect groups for me, uh, which is going to leave me uh, with a nice... Um, um, list of blog posts and multiple keywords to actually um, add under them or include inside of them as well when I'm actually going ahead and creating my articles. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show you another file that gets generated. The other file that gets generated is a CSV file. So I'm going to open up the CSV file and I'm going to show you what we have down here. So the reason I created this CSV file, guys, is so that I can have the group leaders. So the actual posts that I'm going to be creating are these here. These are going to be my unique posts. So out of that list of two 400 and something keywords we've got 123 unique posts that we're going to add to our website okay and down here so i'm going to open this up a little bit so you can actually see these okay and near each one are the actual clusters so this is the cluster header it's the, basically our posts okay and these are the supporting keywords or the other topics that we're going to discuss inside of them. So for how to create Excel templates for inventory control, we're going to have how to design Excel templates for inventory management, how to use Excel templates for inventory audits, and just the two in there. Okay, how to use Excel templates for sales for what we'll do is we'll go down a little bit and we'll have a look at this one here. Okay, Excel tips and tricks for academic research. And inside of the cluster, we have Microsoft Excel functions for scientific research. We also have Microsoft Excel for academic research purposes. We have Excel tips and tricks for presenting research findings. Um, so as you can see, it's absolutely brilliant, guys. So if you go out there and you do your keyword research and you're left with hundreds and even thousands of keywords that have search volume associated with them it doesn't always mean that you want to go out there and create a brand new blog post for each one of those keywords because the chances are is that you're going to be suffering from keyword cannibalization later down the line so when you go out there and you create your new blogs or you go out there and you create these blogs then what you want to do and you do your keyword research you want to run it through a tool like keyword clusters okay and this will give you this file and it will also give you the text file the text file it just makes it a little bit easier as a bird's eye view approach to look at your file and know exactly what your clusters are going to be and the csv file helps me grab all my unique posts and then maybe categorize them into whatever categories i'm going to be posting them on my blog and then going out there and generating the content um, for you so all you have to do is come along and click the link below this video you're going to be taken over to an opt-in page enter your name and email and you'll be sent the download link to work with keyword clusters along with a video tutorial and there's nothing else that you need to sign up to guys all you have to do is download it enter your keyword file select your keyword cluster algorithm and click on start clustering and that's all there is to it so anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video and if there's one thing that you take away from this guys i really hope you understand that once we do our keyword research it's a matter of organizing these keywords before we put them onto our sites as blog posts and this is where keyword clustering and grouping comes into it so thank you very much and i really hope you enjoy this video